And hello YouTube, this is GS Man, I'm Smart, and I'm going to another brand new video for Gaming with GS, and today we're here on Guild Wars 2, and I want to take a look at one of the things that was added to the game with the recent patch, and that was the addition of Bloodstone Slivers, which was the ominous note that was in the uh, patch notes near the bottom, well near the bottom of the general section. And basically, this gave us another current event. Whether you would have noticed it or not, it gave us another current event. We go into our achievements section right here. Uh, general, current events. There are two new achievements that you can get. Bloodstone Sightings and Bloodstone Harvest. Now, Bloodstone Harvest, you do need to unlock. Uh, you won't see it uh, first off. But Bloodstone Sightings, you will. And this is basically another current event that requires you to go to different areas of Tyria and kill crazed creatures. Now, interestingly enough, I like how this current event fits very well into with what happened during this patch. Uh, during this patch, you play the Living World Season 3, the first episode, we saw a giant bloodstone explosion in Bloodstone Fen, correct? And... Most likely, this could have affected a lot of different people, a lot of different creatures. It could have affected, you know, we know it's affected heavily uh, Bloodstone Fen and everybody in it. But now we are seeing crazed creatures such as crazed moas, crazed wyverns, crazed devourers, uh, sharks, and I think the other one was, what's the other animal that they have here? Uh, Arctodus. So. Your goal is basically to kill these crazed creatures that could possibly have been affected by the Bloodstone Explosion. At least that's my theory behind it because um, Bloodstone, being affected by Bloodstone, tends to turn you mad and crazy and want more power. Uh, if you get affected by too much magic, then you want more magic. In fact, there's an entire video of Wooden Potatoes did on the, the entire theory behind the Bloodstone, the Bloodstone Magic, Bloodstone... Uh, madness and uh, how the explosion could have affected uh, everyone in Bloodstone Fen, but also how it affects the future story and how Ariana is laying the groundwork for future uh, updates possibly. It's a nice little theory video if you want to check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. If you're someone who's not very familiar with the story, I would say check the video out because you'll learn a lot from it. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get into this guide. I'm going to be showing you how to get uh, not only all the crazed creatures, how to work the device that you're supposed to find, and also how to find all the Bloodstone Slivers. Now the first achievement is Bloodstone Sightings, and all you have to do is basically see all of the crazed creatures that I mentioned. You don't need to build. You don't need to beat them. You don't. Need to, you don't need to kill any of them. You don't need to even attack any of them. All you have to do is see them. Be in the area when they spawn, and you basically get credit for it. So as long as you've, as long as you've walked in the area where these, where these uh, uh, creatures spawn, you get credit. And the way you start this achievement is by getting a Levy's device. Now, to get this device, you have to go to Verdant Brink, and you go to the Jaka Itso Waypoint, and from there on, you head southwest uh, towards the Wyvern Cliffs. And in that area, there's going to be Levy's device. You go ahead and pick that up. Next to Levy's device, there is also a Bloodstone Sliver. Go ahead and interact with that too, because that will unlock the uh, Bloodstone Harvest achievement. So once you've done that, you basically have the items you need. Now this Bloodstone device that you have, many people seem to be confused with it and a lot of people don't know how to use it or how it's supposed to work. But essentially, you want to use this in flat ground. Don't use this in mountainous areas. Don't use this in cliff areas. Don't use this in like high areas. Be on solid ground. Uh, in the video, I think, uh, background footage, you, sh you should see me using it in Radasum. And I was able to see uh, the creature very easily there. So make sure you're on flat ground. Now when you click this device, you're basically shown which creature is going to come up next. So like I was saying, there are several creatures, several crazed creatures that you have to kill. Well, this device basically shows you which one is going to come up next. Uh, so if you don't know, you know, what a MOA looks like, just go on the wiki, type in MOA, and you'll see what it looks like. What a devourer looks like, do the same thing. Go on the wiki, see what it looks like, because you're going to need to be able to identify this creature. It's going to be... 
it's gonna show it for, to you for like two or three seconds and uh, you can continuously click it to see what it is but that's the creature and you need to identify it once you identify what creature it is you have to go to the proper map to kill mobs of that creature type until the crazed creature of that type spawns so if you're looking for a moa if you see a moa everyone seems to be going to snowden drifts so in snowden drift you'll have to go to snow drift haven waypoint and just southeast of that uh, there will be a bunch of moa there and you can kill moas there and once you've killed enough moas eventually the crazed moa will spawn and once you kill that crazed moa it will give you credit for bloodstone sightings and bloodstone harvest now i'll get to bloodstone harvest in just a second let me go over all the creatures there is also a crazed moa that can be found in brisbane wildlands but it seems like everyone's going to snowden drifts for it so you may as well go to that one Next is the Crazed Devourer. Uh, same, same ideology. You have to kill a bunch of devourers until the Crazed Devourer spawns. So that's, that's how this works. You double click your device, see what creature is up next. If you see the creature, you know what creature it is. You go to the area, kill a bunch of that creature, wait till the Crazed creature spawns, kill the Crazed creature, and then continue down the list until you have all the creatures. So if you're looking for a crazed devourer, you need to go to Dry Top. And this one is east of the repair station waypoint. Um, just go east of that, start killing devourers, and then wait for the crazed devourer to come. Next one is the crazed Arctodus. And once again, Snowden Drift. You can also go to Lorna's Pass, but it seems like everyone is once again going to Snowden Drifts. And this one, once again, is north of a Snow Drift Haven waypoint. I believe the, uh, I think it's a point of interest. It's a point of interest called Lashush, I believe. So once again, once you go there, kill the kill the regular creatures, wait for the crazed creature to come. If you're looking for the crazed shark, you're gonna go to Mount Maelstrom, head to Judgment Waypoint, and northwest of Judgment Waypoint, uh, you'll see a bunch of sharks that you can kill and wait for the crazed shark to come. And for the crazed wyvern, you need to go to Verdant Brink and uh, southwest of the uh, Jaka Itso waypoint near the Brooding Gulch. There's a hero point there with a bunch of wyvern. Uh, kill all the wyverns there and eventually the crazed wyvern will spawn in the area and you'll have all the creatures there. So those are all the crazed creatures. And if you kill all the crazed creatures or well, if you just see the crazed creature in the area and see them, you get the Bloodstone Sightings achievement. Now for the Bloodstone Harvest achievement, you actually have to do a bit more and you also get the new Bloodstone Visage, which is basically a, uh, a skin that turns your eyes red. It looks really cool. It also has some neat particle effects and there is sound to it too. So pretty cool. Uh, the way you get this is you actually have to kill all the crazed creatures. So essentially, if you're doing the Bloodstone Harvest uh, achievement, you'll automatically pretty much get the Bloodstone Sightings achievement done too. So for the Bloodstone Harvest, you need to kill all the crazed creatures, but then along with that, you need to find the 10 Bloodstone Slivers. Now you already found one Bloodstone Sliver in Verdant Brink when you got the device. There's nine other Bloodstone Slivers. Uh, during this video, you should have seen all the locations. I'm gonna be editing in the locations for the Bloodstone Slivers. So if you've been watching, you've probably seen me get them all and uh, you can then just follow the guide with the video in the background and you can follow where I found them. After you get all the Slivers, after you killed all the crazed creatures, you then unlocked the Bloodstone Visage. And that's kind of how the current event this time around goes. It's fairly easy. A lot of people are finding it annoying because they have to, you know, wait around for the uh, boss to spawn. Uh, however, I don't. I haven't experienced many long wait times. I've killed, I think, two of them now, and it, it hasn't been much of a hassle for me. So hopefully you found the video helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't done the current event yet, go ahead and do them. If you haven't done any of the current events, we do have videos on all the current events. So if you're lost and confused and you still haven't done the very first one, we do have videos on that. Just go ahead and you know look back in the Guild Wars 2 playlist and you'll see all the current events there. Uh, I usually I usually talk about them with a patch release, but uh, they're, they're, I was talking about something else in the last patch video, so I, I ended up making a separate video for this. 
But yeah, hopefully you find it helpful. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. Lots of other Guild Wars 2 guys, lots of other Guild Wars 2 videos, content, and uh, we do giveaways. We talk about the Guild Wars 2 news, uh, patch notes, all that cool stuff. So if you're interested, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can also do that. Anything as low as that is very helpful, very much appreciated. All you gotta do is click the card in the top right hand corner of the screen, and it'll bring you to the page. I also have a tutorials channel, vlogging channel, music channel, and advice channel. You want to check this out? Links in the description as well as on the end card. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always, and this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere.